appreciate you uh, giving me the time. <laughs> I'm Dick Huber. I'm a retired physician. I volunteer giving drug presentations in school for much of my time. And I'm presenting this from a viewpoint of the youth. And please remember there's a difference between a, an adult brain on drugs and a youth brain on drugs. Weed, grass, pot, Mary Jane, MJ, chronic, ganja, blue haze, purple, pineapple, express, there's over 300 names for it, okay? If you're following on the outline, the next one is gateway drugs. Marijuana, tobacco, and alcohol are the three leading gateway drugs. It's anticipated in a few years that prescription medicines will probably be one of the top three. For those who do not believe that marijuana is a gateway drug, you need to be changing the health books in our schools because that's what's taught to our students. Often opens the door to other drugs. 19% of high school seniors use marijuana on a monthly basis. Please remember this. A teenage marijuana user is 16 times more likely to use cocaine than a non-marijuana teenager. It's often smoked in a joint. Another popular form is a blunt. Uh, the students will hollow out the inside of a cigar and put marijuana in it and smoke it that way. There are over 400 chemicals. M marijuana has more carcinogenic hydrocarbons than tobacco smoke. You see the three properties that it has. It impairs memory, coordination, and concentration. There are two kinds of addiction. Students often think that, mer uh, that the only kind of addiction is like with nicotine, which is a very strong physical addictive properties. There's a psychological addiction, and students often think that it's only the psychological addiction with, associated with marijuana. 17% of, of our teenagers who start become physically addicted to marijuana. Please remember the human brain. We are born with over 100 billion brain cells, but what we are lacking are the connection between the brain cells. Every brain cell that you have is connected with anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 other brain cells. So it's the connections in our brains that make us so unique, not the brain cells. It's the connections. Those connections are not usually completed until around the age of 25. Some people it's 20, some people it's 30. So we usually consider the human brain mature when they finish making most of those connections around the age of 25. When this is explained to students, all of a sudden they realize, oh, there's a reason why alcohol is not legal until 21. Then guess what the next question is? Why isn't the legal age 25? How do you explain that to a student? So please don't get locked in on the age of 21. The human brain is so important, and we must protect it until they've made all those connections, and that's usually around the age of 25. Be careful of your slippery slope. Be careful of the message that you are sending to our students. And please do not get locked in on the age of 21. Think of the human brain is maturing around the age of 25. And thank you very much. Thank you. I'm still waiting for the applause for the one.